in a remote part of the border forests in Northumberland, high on a hill above Kielder Water, sits a strange-looking wooden building. People travel many miles to get here to look out at the sky, for this is the award-winning Kielder Observatory, one of the best places in the UK to see the stars. It's now at last cool to be an astronomer. I've not told anybody that I was an astronomer. For 25 years, I think, I kept it secret. Didn't dare tell anyone. But now, of course, it's cool to be an astronomer, which is brilliant. And people ask you questions about the universe and astronomy, which is, which is even better. It's great stuff. And this is what they come here to see through the telescopes. Extraordinary clear views of galaxies and stars, all the mind-boggling distance from Earth. Views that just can't be seen in most parts of the UK. Now I know it's dark and you can hardly see me, but that's the point of this place. And the authorities here are not complacent. They're now bidding for this part of the UK to be a dark sky reserve and to become a dark sky park. And if successful, it will be the biggest of its kind in Europe. But to be given such status means the few people living here have to minimise their light pollution. Alistair Murray has already adapted his farm so it doesn't shine like a beacon in the landscape. All I had to do was adjust one light fitting. Uh, I was really surprised how little I actually had to do. But how big a job is it to get hundreds of square miles dark enough to be recognised as one of the best places on the planet for the night sky? Very often it's a case of adjusting the lights that you have on the outside of your property. If you've got them angled outwards across the yard or across the, 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 the car porch, then you, know, you can just simply correct them by turning them to one side and literally shining the light down onto the ground. In some cases it might be a case of replacing a high wattage bulb with a low wattage bulb. It's just reducing the, the light pollution. Back at the observatory, the plan is being met with great enthusiasm. At home, I can only see the plough and just a few, and just to see so many all round is just stunning. And it's a very special place. And even just looking up, just seeing all the stars and the moon, it's pretty spectacular as well. Spectacular is the word. Yes. In the city, when you see the occasional star, it's just something that's up there in the sky. But here, you can actually just feel part of, of you know, such a the huge universe and galaxy. It's amazing. And it's not just the stars that stand out here. A few months ago, the beautiful northern lights could be seen dancing across the sky. Northumberland will soon find out if its own inky blackness meets with international approval. It could then join Exmoor, the Brecon Beacons and southwest Scotland as being the perfect location to ponder our place in the universe. Danny Savage, BBC News, Kilda.